Hey guys, it's Cosplay Creator Girl. I'm back to give you more new emos updates. I love the new emos. I'm very excited about their new everyday cosplay line and I did pick up a few outfits from that so I'll talk to you about that later in the video. But also this weekend I received an early Valentine's Day gift which was Angel. So we're gonna do a little quick review of her as well as two outfits I received uh, that I have not shown you yet. So if you're up for that, keep watching. So first things first, here is Angel. She is beautiful, guys, really beautiful. She has her nice white marking here. She has a beautiful marking on the back. Her ears are just like Stitch. They don't have wire in them, which is nice because if you're wearing, you're having the hats on and everything, you can tuck them easily behind but they're really cute and you can definitely, you know, position them a little bit and they stay up without a problem. They're not droopy or anything like that. So I really do appreciate that design. Also her eyes, they used a lighter thread which really highlights her eyes and makes them look really beautiful. Love her cute little adorable face. Just like the other new emos, she is completely poseable. Her head turns, she has magnets in her hands so she can hold hands with Stitch or one of the other characters. She stands really nicely on her feet as well and she looks great in so many of the outfits and I'll be showing you that over time. But also if you want to see more photos of any of my new emos, I did start an Instagram account which I'm gonna leave in the comments below. Follow that if, or just check it out if you want to see more photos of my new emos and the outfits that I have for them. But overall, another great addition to my collection. I'm really excited to have two couples now, Daisy and Donald and Stitch and Experiment 624. And 624 happens to be my birthday, so I am just very close and in love with Angel, she is just too cute. And then I also wanted to show you my first new outfit. So this outfit is a really nice jumpsuit. It gives me safari vibes all the way. It has a little bow on the front, some buttons, and nice pocket details. It also, if you open up the Velcro in the front, you can see that there's a nice elastic band. So if you're worried about a jumpsuit fitting over your character's body, you really don't have to worry about that. The elastic band makes it nice to position the jumpsuit just so on your characters. And I've also found that compared to the pants that I have, this jumpsuit, the bottoms of these jump, this jumpsuit fits really nicely and easily over the feet of whatever character you're putting this on. So I've seen this on Stitch, I've put it on uh, Angel and Daisy, but I've seen it on all the characters across the line. I think it looks great on any of your characters. So it's a nice piece to have in your collection. So let's test it out on Angel. So I'm just putting it quickly on her to show you guys how great it looks on all of the characters. But it also comes with an accessory. So I, in a second I'll show you the accessory it comes with which I think is equally as versatile. But what I'll say is of all the outfits I have, I'd say this is one of those outfits that's going to work any season. So winter, spring, summer, or fall, it's gonna be a great look for your characters because it's a lightweight, but you can definitely layer it with the coats and sweat outfits that you may already have. So here it is on Angel. I'm just moving the elastic up a little bit in the middle. It's always harder to do things when you're on video, <laughs> but she looks really cute in it and then adding the additional accessory on she has a hat 
So I love this hat. What I will say is be careful with any of the hats that you receive for your new Emos. They're very easy to lose because there's not like an elastic band that you're putting around their head or anything like that. So if they do get knocked a little bit by something, um, you might end up having the hat fall off without you noticing. To give you an example of this, I had a knit hat that on Stitch the other day and he was in the side pocket of my backpack and his hat must have gotten knocked off because I lost it somewhere and I'm definitely pretty bummed about that. So fair warning, be careful with the hats, maybe take them off while you're in transit and then put them back on when you're at your location because they are easy to lose. I do lose things, I do tend to lose things, so it's a little bit me, but it's also just that it can get knocked off their heads. So how cute is this nice felt hat with a huge brim? It would be a good sun hat. It's great on all of the characters as well. I'll show you it on Stitch so you can get a feel on a different character. Isn't he so cute in this big felt hat? I love it. And I love the blue with his blue. It just looks super cute. So I think this outfit is probably one of the most versatile uh, New Emos outfits out there right now. And I would highly recommend it. It wasn't my first pick on my list, but I'm actually really digging it. And I think that you will too if, if you have the opportunity to pick it up. So that's just one outfit I wanted to show you. And then the other outfit I'm going to show you on Daisy. So the other outfit was one I had ordered a while ago, but it took a while to ship. They actually shipped it separately from everything else I ordered. So I guess it was shipping out of a different location, but I'm very happy with it. And I'm happy that it arrived this weekend. It's this dress, which the skirt is attached to the top so it is a nice full dress easy to take on and off because it has full length velcro on the back the top part is like a knit shirt and then you have this beautiful skirt which you probably can't see as much on the the camera but there are some like shiny threads that highlight and you know just make this dress stand out when it's on your characters. So I really adore this dress. And then it comes with a nice jacket, which would go with so many of the new Emos looks. This jacket has nice gold buttons on the front. Again, it doesn't have a closure just like the other coats. Um, it has nice little sleeves that you can sort of scrunch up if you want to on your character's arms. I did cut the tag off, but again, someone was saying in the comments of my other video that you can just roll up the, the tag and then add a couple stitches and that's a nice way to keep the tag in perfect condition, you know, throughout your use of the outfits or the characters. So if that's um, something that you wish to do, I think it's a great way to, you know, keep your outfits and characters in perfect condition. Um, just for the ease of it, I cut it off, but I'm not planning on reselling my characters, so it's just for me and it's, you know, it's up to what you want to do. So I'm going to put this outfit quickly on Daisy so you can get a feel for what it looks like. There she is in the dress. And you saw that took me two seconds to do because when it's Velcro all the way down the back, it's very easy to slide on. And then just throwing the jacket over top. Of all the characters, I love this jacket the most on Daisy just because her little bow popping up at the top is just super cute. Um, I will say this jacket and the jumpsuit that I just showed you, uh, I had her out in the jumpsuit with this jacket yesterday in the snow and I took her inside after playing with her in the snow in it to take some photos and it dried immediately. So uh, definitely good snow gear. So there she is in her full outfit. Very stylish. 
a great winter look. So it's not gonna be an all year round look, but I think a super great winter look for your new emos. So let me know what you guys think of those outfits. If you wanna see more photos of my characters in these outfits, definitely check out my Instagram, which I'll leave in the, in the um, description below. But I also wanted to quickly talk to you about the everyday cosplay line and what outfits I will be receiving and doing reviews on. So I really hope to collect a bunch of the outfits from this line, but because of the price point and how much I've spent recently on new emos, I had to limit it to three. So I'm, as you can see, a huge Alice fan. And so I had to get Alice's dress and the Cheshire Cat look. And then instead of getting the Queen of Hearts as my third look, as you might expect, I got the Oogie Boogie look. So I'm really super excited to receive those. They'll probably take a while to ship and we are having a storm right now. So that w might even, you know, slow things down a bit in terms of getting the outfit out or the outfits out. But they'll definitely be worth the wait and I can't wait to do a review of them for you guys. But if there's other looks from the cosplay line that you'd like to see, I can't guarantee that I'll be able to get them right away. But I love to hear your thoughts on the line and what you'd like to see. And, um, you know, hopefully in the future I can do more reviews on the different outfits that come out for new emos. I definitely won't be able to get them all because they're releasing new looks every month and I'm sure they're going to release new characters but I really enjoy going through these with you all and um, I love your thoughts and feedback as well. So if you like this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you're not subscribed and you wanna see more of the new Emos videos, definitely subscribe and I hope to improve this and keep it going for you guys because I love the new Emos community. So talk to you soon and I hope you have a great week.